everyone, welcome to our March STEAM program. This month we are going to be talking about a little bit of earth science, specifically mountains and oceans. We can't cover everything, that would take far too long. So what we're going to talk about with the oceans is how currents are made, and with the mountains, how full mountains are made. We're going to delve into each topic separately and we're going to start with the oceans. So let's get started. So we are going to talk about how currents are made. Have you ever been to the beach and you feel the water kind of pull at you? That is a current and currents can be very dangerous if you're in the ocean, but it also helps bring nutrients and food to animals all throughout the ocean and it makes those wonderful waves that are fun to play in. There are two different kinds of currents. One is, one are <laughs> surface currents, which are caused by wind and really only happens at the top part of the ocean. So when you're at the beach and you feel the currents, those are surface currents caused by wind. What we're gonna talk about today are deep currents, which are caused by a couple of things. We're gonna go into our experiment to talk about what causes deep currents. And also we're gonna switch the camera so you can get a close up look of how currents are formed. Okay, so now we have our close up view and you can see what's gonna happen with our currents. Um, as we discussed earlier, these are deep currents. So they're not caused by wind. They're, um, the factors we're gonna to explore today are two things. The temperature of the water and how salty it is. In this cup, I have cold water with a little bit of salt and some food coloring. In this cup, I have warm water with food coloring and a little bit of salt. And in here, I have cold water with a lot of salt. So one of these has a lot more salt than the other two and the temperature is different. So what I want you to do, the reason I colored the water is so you can see what happens when I add the water, this water to the big water that represents the ocean. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the warm water and put it into our ocean. And I want you to look specifically at where the water goes. So it pretty quickly rose to the top. And that's what warm water is going to do. Warm water rises to the surface, which causes a current. Now let's take a look at what the cold water will do. So the cold water is staying down here at the bottom. And that's what the cold water will do. Cold water sinks and warm water rises. This is how we get currents in the ocean. Also, different levels of saltiness will affect how water moves in the ocean as well. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now we're moving from the oceans up to the mountains. There are five different kinds of mountains, volcan volcanic, plateau, dome mountains, uh, fault block mountains, and what we're talking about today, which are fold mountains. So fold mountains are the most common types of mountains in the world, and some of the most famous mountain ranges are fold mountains. That includes the Rockies, the Himalayas, the Alps, the Andes, and also part of the Appalachian Mountains, which you can find here in New Jersey. So, if you go to northwestern New Jersey and go to that portion of the Appalachian Mountains, those are fold mountains, what we're gonna talk about today. Now, fold mountains are made of sedimentary rock. And that is important for our experiment later because sedimentary rock is made up of multiple different layers of broken rock that have been pressed down either by weight on top of it of a lot of other rocks on top of them that pushes it down to create layers, or sometimes you can find sedimentary rocks uh, underwater. But the mountains are usually um, caused by 
what are called continental plates, moving together to push up those layers of sediment into mountains. And that's what we're, I'm going to show you today. Now, I don't want you to think that uh, mountains are going to suddenly spring up in the middle of your dinner, possibly, because this process happens over millions of years. It's so, so slow. You would never be able to feel it or see it. But this is how mountains are formed. And I'm going to show you how fold mountains are created in just one second. All right, so here we have our fold mountain set up. These towels, the different colors of towels, represent the different layers of sediment in sedimentary rocks. These two bins represent our continental plates. So, like we said before, when these plates move against each other, they can push up these sedimentary layers to form fold mountains. But it's much easier if I show you how it works. So I'm going to stand up and push these two together. And there we have our fold mountains. So now it's easier to see these different layers that make up the rocks. And even though the um, mountains near us are sedimentary rocks, you can much more easily see this out west. So you see these mountains, they are in New Mexico, and you can see the different layers of sediment because the mountains look kind of striped. So this is an example of sedimentary rock mountains created by continental plates. And you can do this at home, you can do this as many times as you want, and sometimes you'll get different shapes, but you'll always get something that looks like fold mountains.